Originally, I was in Douglas County. I was in there about six and a half months. The uh, reentry program introduced me to this program, saying it was called Artists Helping the Homeless. They interviewed me, then uh, accepted me to the program, surprisingly, and got out and been here ever since. I was going down a real deep path, you know, hence my 101 months of prison. For the first 30 days you're here, you're not allowed to work, not allowed to do nothing. All you gotta do is sit down and worry about yourself. Now, what can I do better in my life in order to progress? It sucks at first, it's tedious. You have to sit here, you know, kind of get cabin fever, but by the time your third day is up, you can start working and get start getting things done. You can just take off after that. Start doing small things first, you know, such as, you know, having a license, getting a car, getting my finances in order, and just uh, paying bills on time. I had no sense of direction, no sense of guidance, and had no sense of leadership roles or anything like that. And it wasn't until my mental health was strong again that I was able to get into recovery, able to be able to manage money and get a budget. You know, it's simple things that an adult was able to do and now pursue more into the future. They ended up offering me a job, fell in love with it ever since then. And we help all the things such as, you know, case management, getting guys life organized and basically trying to help them base life skills, help them get to court, so on and so forth. And you know, get things scheduled, making sure they're going to the things that are scheduled. There is no other program like Artists Helping the Homeless. We have a guy here in the program, he works who knows how many hours and top that going to school full time at KU. I feel like there's no choice but to be motivated here. When you surround yourself with guys who are actually trying to live in recovery, you have no choice but to live in it. Enjoy what you have now rather than fixating on the past, rather than constantly looking in the future. The future ain't here yet, the past ain't here yet, the present is. So it's something that you need to focus on what can you get done today to build towards your future tomorrow.